Hey guys, it's me, Panzo6, and today I'm after finally, finally, finally figuring out what I was going to talk about. I have a new episode of the game feed. And it's going to be a continuation of last week's topic where I picked out, you know, I have two favorite YouTubers plus another two favorite YouTubers or Twitch or internet personalities that I love the most. And I have been trying to record this, but for some odd reason, every time I do, I really jack it up. So later on, I'll go ahead and post the bloopers of the stuff I have so far. So it's probably going to be like a two-minute thing, so you guys will be able to see that. I figured I'd just do it as a bonus today. Uh, but anyways, I want to start out and we'll talk about one of my other favorite YouTubers. It'll be Total Biscuit or John Bain. Uh, you guys may see his co-optional podcast, um, what is where he talks about some games that are coming out on Steam or whatever he is deciding to play, his top tens, and whatever he, he likes. He's really, really awesome. Um, the reason why is he talks the truth. He's almost kind of similar to people like Jim Sterling and Boogie, but he's got a very, very professional um, um, vibe to him. Like, when you listen to Total Biscuit, he sounds like just some awesome dude, but awesome. I, I can't even think of anything to say about him. Uh, never met the guy, but I have I jumped on the bandwagon for him really, really late. I didn't it's, didn't discover him until about two years ago. And um, it might have been two or three, but I was in uh, one of my classes, and I went out for break and between classes, and... I looked him up on my app, looked up on my iPad, and it was one of my recommended videos. So I started listening to him, and ever since then, I try my best to you know listen to his vlogs, um, this co-optional podcast, and just pretty much anything he does. Now uh, it did come out. I think it was a year or two ago that he did have cancer, which is not cool. Uh, cancer can go fuck itself, and. Um, yeah, it's it just sucks to hear hearing, but he won a uh, I think he won something I think it was last year's um, VGAs. He won a um, reward for top video game personality. Uh, it's and Boogie Boogie he got to actually I think he is the one who delivered that to him on stage, which is really really cool. Um, but if you guys ever get a chance, check out Total Biscuit. Um, he is probably one of the highest uh, rated um, YouTubers, probably one of the biggest names. Um, if you haven't heard of him, just go ahead and check him out. Now, um, I said there's going to be two, but in all actuality, there's three I want to talk about. And one of them is relatively new, and one of them has been around for quite a long time. And the uh, next one is Rooster Teeth. Rooster Teeth has been around since God knows when. I, they started out with Halo, um, <laughs> just uh, doing machinima with Halo, and now they're like this big internet company. And they now they have Fun House, I believe. I think they're with them now. I'm not sure what they encompass, but I know they have the Achievement Hunter brand, um, RT Shorts, um, Red vs. Blue, uh, see what's the other Ruby, and they're they're really really funny. Uh, they got some of the funniest guys um, on the internet, especially Jeff. Jeff and uh, I think it's Mike Michael. Uh, he always does the uh, rage quit videos, but um, those guys are awesome too. I've been watching them for a long long time. I have every single season. I think I'm one season behind on Red vs. Blue, and um, I watch them all the time. Every chance I get. Um, and I think recently they came out with a new movie. It's called Laser Team. I haven't watched it, but if you guys have seen it, let me know about it, and uh, maybe I'll check out YouTube Red and check them out. But um, my last bit, um, and this is I, it's been really hard to record this. I'm not feeling too well today, and every time I talk, I feel like I'm gonna throw up because I got really really bad acid reflux. So. You're going to hear see me pause way more than usual because, eh. But anyways, um, <clears throat> my good friends at the Goblin Traders, <laughs> and I talk to talk about them a lot. 
um, you guys probably seen. I did a um, little show. It was like a weekly um, video where it was just kind of showing what we did. It was a shop life thing. Um, <laughs> I don't have anything bad I could say about the Goblin Traders. Um, they treated me really, really awesome when um, they could have just shooed me away. Uh, I went to the shop. I originally, I did not know anything about magic. Um, my friend John, he showed me some. I was working at AT&T at the time, so him, my friend John and Anthony, he was like, "You should buy some magic uh, cards." So I bought a uh, 2015. Um, I think it was just the uh, starter box. It had pretty much gets you everything you need um, to learn how to play magic. And later on, I start. I walked over to the store and. Uh, <laughs> I just got along with the people real well. I was shy at first, but like we just hit it off like not, like brothers, like long lost brothers or something. We're just super best friends. And um, you guys can check them out. They do have a YouTube channel. Uh, they do do a, a podcast, and also they do have a Twitch channel as well. And if you're in the Ironton area or if you're going passing through Ironton, Ohio or anything like that, um, I'd check them out. Just check out everybody. Tell them that I sent you. Um, and this is not a sponsored thing. This is me. Goblin Traders isn't paying me for it. And I don't want them to because they're, like I said, they're my, they're my best friends. Um, and I, they're like family to me. But I want you guys to check them out for sure. Um, and I'll put a link in the description to their YouTube video as well as, well, their YouTube channel, as well as uh, Twitch and their podcast, if I could find it. So, uh, I do apologize for the late um, video, and I do apologize also for the um, 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 um stuff, because I'm trying to get myself fixed on that. Um, but the good news is, which is really, really good news for me. So they're not, there will not be a let's talk this week. Uh, it's actually going to be encompassed in this video. So if you're looking forward to a, to a let's talk, um, it's part of the game feed today because I, I don't, I don't feel too well. So I'm going to go immediately after I put this together, I'll probably be going to bed. Um, but today, this morning I had an interview and it's, I've been needing an interview for a while. I need a job. So um, I had an interview for a uh, salesperson, uh, Aflac. Um, this is pretty cool. I went in and um, they sent me down, told me exactly what to expect and how much money I can make doing it. And it does sound really, really cool. Um, after the interview, I got home and I saw on my home phone, because right now I don't have a cell phone, which sucks. But once I start getting money rolling, in, I'll have a cell phone. Um, but um, anyways... <clears throat> I saw all the caller ID on her house phone that uh, Aflac called. So I called him back and they said, well, we want you back again for a second interview. And when I was in there, they said, if we want you, um, if we're interested in keeping you for the job, um, we'll go ahead and call you back for a second interview. I didn't expect it was going to be immediately, but it was. It was pretty much immediately as um, <laughs> I got home and saw it. I got the thing so that's good that's good that's really good um another thing is um i put out a video earlier this week it wasn't what the best so i may redo it but it is for a um gofundme account um the reason why i'm doing gofundme is just to see what kind of help i can get um kind of limited on loans so whenever you're unemployed people don't really give loans and um, the reason why I want to talk about this is because this is something that affects people in this area and can also do good for a lot of other things, um, especially people that's coming from another place or convenience or just somebody to talk to. Um, I, I put out the uh, GoFundMe and said I want to start a business, a new business in this town. A, there's no place for young people to go to in this area, except for like walking on the roads or um, pulling their thumbs. There's nothing really to do. Um, and quite frankly, um, 
some of the things that kids like to do is like skateboarding and all this stuff. They can't do that either because on the sidewalks it says no skateboarding. And this is a really, really small community. Um, but the, the business I want to start is very, very similar to um, it be a game store or um, card shop. It's whatever kind of games I can get. And it's going to be, uh, I just want to do video games, comic books, uh, card games and board games, or just have fun talking to each other. To each other. And we're also going to work at doing a little bit of a diner setting as well. Um, one of the reasons why, like I said, this gives younger people a chance to come in instead of having to drive 45 to minutes to an hour away or spending their t money at Walmart, and it can actually help um, a small business. Um, it does give kids to learn, get a chance to meet new people, hang out, learn new games, um, and also uh, have decent food. And one of the things I really want to incorporate in this is um, <clears throat> I want people to know straight off, if you're going to come to this place, which is going to be called Bits and Pieces, and our slogan is going to be called, say, Come Together. So it basically fits like a puzzle. So, so whenever you come to this shop, there will be no bullying, no judging, anybody, any, any sexual orientation, race, gender, religion, anything. You're allowed to come and hang out there. Just no, no creepy pedophiles or anything like that. I know that sounds, probably shouldn't say that, but no, no, no drugs, no smoking, nothing like that. But this is a place for people to come and just hang out. Now, the thing I want to incorporate, incorporate is... Um, Currently, I have problems with anxiety and depression. I had we had a friend that killed himself because of depression, committed suicide, um, and I know a lot of people that suffer from anxiety, depression, and have suicidal thoughts. And the only thing they thought about was killing themselves. And I've been down that road. I've actually been. If you go back in my video history, you can actually see um, where I talked about suicide as a whole. And um, I'm not going to go into detail. You can go back and check that out. But um, I want I want this place to be special for people like that, so they can come in, they can talk to other people about their problems, and um, just help each other out. Because I mean, your kids are going to get picked on, you know, on the streets. Um, in school and there's not really places for people that like the same things that are going through the same things to come and just hang out now one of the things again I'd like to do is with this um, uh, new shop I actually would like to take at least five percent not five maybe about ten percent um, once everything is running ten percent each month goes to a charity or a event that we'll have at the end of every maybe every quarter where we would take the kids to a some type of field trip um, help pay for you know food or something if somebody needs it um, clothing um, you name it I uh, just want to be sure to take care of people and give back to the community and that could be either getting kids that that baths or something like that I'm sorry uh, bare essentials water food uh, clothing um, you name it I'd like to be able to do that each month and also hold little tournaments where young people can win prizes and anything like that and would be doing things like Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, board games, video games and comic books so you can come in buy games at a reasonable price uh, buy magic cards, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, play with other people, let people learn how to do that. And also, if we get more help, we can also bring special guests in, maybe other YouTubers, or hold bigger tournaments. And that's something I'd like to do. Uh, I don't want it to be just a shop for people to buy stuff. I want it to be a place where everybody is meant to be there. Uh, they have a... Um, They'll have a connection. They won't feel left out. Um, they'll have somebody that wants to um, take care of them and help them out. 
and even if we have to bring in people like um, <clears throat> that cater to that uh, volunteers uh, that's something I want to do it's a big idea but and it's hard for me to get the words out but one of these days I will get them out now I did put there is a GoFundMe account I did post it um, if you guys can take a look at it, be sure I'll put the link in the description below. It's, um, I'm asking for a little bit. You don't have to. I'm not going to say, hey, go out there and spend money. You don't have to do it. And for every person that does help with this, I'll highly appreciate it. And um, hopefully here soon, maybe in the following months, if we get everything ready, we'll be able to start this business. And once things are moving, you guys will see a whole lot more of this. Now, that also brings me to my next thing, and that's health initiative. I am fat. I am out of shape. And I sweat a lot. Like a lot. I wake up and I'm just covered in sweat. And every time I walk 10 feet, I'm like... <gasps> <gasps> <coughs> oh, man. I choked myself. But I am I'm really... <laughs> I really need to get fixed. I, I, so health initiative, that's next. Um, me and my fiance been talking about it, and I have talked about this before, and I'm just like everybody else. I'll start a few days. I'm like, oh, this diet's going good. Then cheeseburger. It always happens. It's like, oh, man, this lettuce is really good. So is that cheeseburger or french fries or cake or whatever. And I'm just trying to get them the mindset like, I get rid of this and these boobs, man boobs, and I'll be A-OK. -okay. Really good. But um, yeah, that's that's another thing. I'll probably bring that up in a let's talk next week whenever we talk about let's not be fat anymore. Ever. But yeah, that's pretty much what I want to talk about today. So I'm sorry this was a almost 18 minute long video. And I jumped over topics after topic after topic, and I stumbled a lot. I stumbled a whole lot. But thank you so much for at least checking this out and making it to the end. If you did make it to the end, uh, just be sure to just, uh, say hello. Uh, Boogie does something similar to this, so maybe I'll come up with a word. So, I'm trying to think of a word. Oh. Diet Mountain Dew. So if you if I see Diet Mountain Dew at the end of this video, I know that you watched. I know that you watched this video, and I definitely appreciate it. And be sure to like and subscribe and share, and I love you so damn much. It hurts a little bit inside. Like I cry every night about my love. But anyways, you guys take it easy, and again... Peace out.